How to start a beer depot in Uganda. Hi. Welcome to the Infant Entrepreneur Classroom. I am Andrew from Infant Entrepreneur. Are you interested in working with us? I have left a link in the description below. You can reach us. Now let us look at our main topic today which is starting a beer depot. Are you interested in starting a beer depot in Uganda but you don't know how to get started? Fear not. This video is yours. We will look at how anyone can start a beer depot here in Uganda. Now let's get started. Step 1. Create a beer depot business plan. Before diving into the actions, the best way to start a beer depot in Uganda is to create a sound business plan. This is the research portion of starting your business. This includes important details about where you'll be sourcing your products, where you'll get funding when you plan to profit, a marketing, sales plan, the overall organization, and any plans you have to expand in the future. Business plans can seem daunting, but drafting one will make it much easier to open your liquor store and show investors or bank lenders just how much thought you've put into making your business successful. We have a complete guide on how to write a business plan for your beer depot in Uganda. The link is in the description below. Step 2. Find a good location. Location is everything. A beer depot, like many retail businesses today, will need a physical location in order for you to sell or distribute products. You will need to either build, purchase, or lease a storefront that has adequate zoning and space requirements for your store. When choosing a physical location, consider elements such as neighborhood, street traffic, sidewalk traffic, and accessibility. You will also need to ensure that the rent and utility costs are within range to ensure you still have enough money to pay for your employees and suppliers. Step 3. Form a legal entity. In order to be recognized as a legitimate business, you'll need to establish your beer depot as a legal business entity. This will protect both you and the depot in case there are legal issues. This stage of the process is also where you get to decide on a name for your store. Whatever name you decide on is what the business will be legally known as moving forward. You will likely be establishing your business as either a sole proprietorship, owned by one person, or a general partnership, owned by two people. In order to protect yourself if your store runs into legal issues, you'll want to establish the business as a limited liability company, LLC. Consult your business attorney or tax professional to determine which type of business entity is right for you. Once you decide, register your entity with the Secretary of State and Chamber of Commerce offices in your state, city. Step 4. Acquire permits and licenses for selling alcohol. In order for you to sell your beer in Uganda, you need a permit to do so. Permits and licenses are essential for businesses involving alcohol. Prepare for this step to take a significant amount of time, research, and paperwork. Your business will require a liquor license, which will cost plenty of money depending on different factors. Each city, county, and state has different rules and laws you will have to keep in mind when starting your business. These rules may restrict when your license is valid, prohibiting you from selling alcohol on Sundays or before certain times of days for example. Your business attorney should be able to help you further through this step of the process to ensure your store is compliant with all necessary permits, laws, and regulations. Step 5. Get your beer depot insured. Obtaining business insurance for your beer depot is very important. Anything could happen to your depot, merchandise, or employees and you need to be properly prepared. Insurance plans including Comerci, Al Property, General Liability, Workers' Compensation, and Liquor Liability Insurance are important and usually necessary for beer depot owners. This is another area that it would be wise to enlist the help of a business attorney and accountant. Step 6. Create your beer depot's brand. Now it's time to have a bit of fun with your liquor store. The nature of alcohol sales is generally a little more carefree and relaxed when it comes to branding. A name and visual identity will help customers remember your depot the next time they wish to make a purchase. Your brand is how people will perceive your store, so create something memorable and fun. Step 7. Launch a website. There's not a business out there today that shouldn't have a website. Establish a web presence for your beer depot by purchasing a domain. Use the website to share important details such as the location and open hours of your store. Include details about your inventory for customers to search for what they like. Have a page dedicated to your personal story and what your store means to you. Providing convenience and a story for people to relate to can ensure that your customers stay loyal for a long time. Step 8. Build a marketing strategy. Further expanding on your store's brand, you'll want to create a sound marketing plan to get your business up and running. 
Build upon your web presence by creating a TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram page to advertise sales and new products. What kind of signage will you have in and around your depot? Will you send out mailers to homes in your neighborhood? Will your store host events such as wine tastings or cocktail mixing lessons? These are the types of questions you should answer with a solid marketing plan. Step 9. Stock your beer inventory. Your inventory is possibly the most important element of your beer depot. It may shock you at first just how much you may have to spend on inventory. Purchase beer in bulk to keep costs down. Research local breweries, wineries, and distilleries and consider a partnership. Understand what alcohol items are popular in your area and keep those in stock, as well as staple products. Many beer depots also offer other items such as tobacco products, cocktail mixes, ice, and snacks. Step 10. Hire a staff for your beer depot. Overworking yourself will quickly lead to burnout and poor performance. Accept that you cannot do everything and hire some employees to help you out. Put out an ad in your local newspaper or job board for hourly employees. Keep in mind that having a staff will come with its own rules and regulations as well as new challenges in scheduling and payroll. You can learn more about hiring employees from our website. See the link in the description below. That is all that is required to start a beer depot in Uganda. Talk to me in the comments section below and let me know what you think of these ideas. You can also suggest any business idea you want me to make a video about and I will gladly do it for you. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Please subscribe if you find this helpful.